So now we know how to do knit stitch, I'm going to show you how to do a purl stitch. Purl stitch is done towards you. Knit stitch done away, purl stitch towards. So I've casted on my 10 stitches and I've knitted one knit row. So now I'm going to do a purl row. If you do one row knit and one row purl, you end up with work that's called stocking stitch. Looks really neat, doesn't have the lumps on it like the old knitted garter stitch does. So you need to put your needle at the back and bring it towards you into the loop. Take your long piece of yarn and bring it over the top of the needle. Take the needle back through the work and take that stitch off and onto the other needle. So let's try that again. Do the next stitch towards you. Bring this yarn over the top of the needle. Take that stitch through and take it off that needle onto that one. Into the next stitch towards you. Bring this yarn around the needle. Take it underneath. Take that stitch off the left hand needle onto the right hand needle. Into the next stitch. Yarn around the needle. Underneath. Take that stitch off. Keep going all along the row. Putting it through, take the yarn round, take the stitch off onto the right hand needle. Right to the last stitch. And then when you turn your work around, the knit side, that's the right side. And so your next row would be a knit row. So now we've got a little bit of work, stocking stitch, one row knit, one row purl. Now I'm going to show you how to do some increasings. So when you need to make your work bigger, you will need to increase. Normally with my patterns, increasings are done at the end of the rows. Decreasings are also done at the end of the rows. Um, if you're making a sock dog or a rainbow hound, you will need to increase in the middle of the rows. Um, but we're going to show you increasing at the end of a row. So you do your knit stitch, you bring your yarn round, you take your stitch through, but instead of taking that one off the needle, you're going to go to the back of it and you're going to knit into the back of that stitch. Take your yarn round and then take it off. So you've got two. And then you would continue to the, to the end of the row and you would do the same. If you were doing um, a rainbow hound where you've got to increase in every stitch, you do the same into the next stitch. Take your yarn round. Instead of taking that loop off, you go into the back of that stitch and you knit into the back of it. Take the whole thing off. So now you've got four stitches on there. Again, if you wanted to increase into this one, take the yarn round take it through but instead of taking it off you knit into the back of that same stitch and then take it off so now you've got six and so on across the row now I'm going to show you how to decrease stitches when in my patterns, when I say decrease, I mean knit two stitches together. So if I if I was going to decrease at the end of the end of this row, I would take the first two stitches. So put your needle into the second stitch and the first stitch, and then take the yarn round the back over the needle, 
and knit those two stitches together, take them off, so they now become one. And then I would continue it along the row, and I would do the same at the other end if I needed to decrease at each end of the row. I'll show you if I was decreasing two, the next two stitches, so say I was making a hat, and I had to decrease all along the row, knit two together all along the row, then I would go into the next two stitches, take the yarn round, bring the needle through both stitches and take them off, and instead of four I've now got two, and then if I was going to knit, decrease in the next two, do the same. So going all along this row, knitting two together, where I had ten stitches, now I only have five. And you can see how it pulls with it. If this was a hat, it would pull it all together, make it hat shaped.